Use your smartphone or tablet as a live video remote control with the GoPro app. With a Wi-Fi backpack attached to your GoPro camera, the GoPro app allows you to control your camera by providing instant access to camera settings and controls and allows you to preview both photos and videos so you can frame the exact shot you want. Before you begin using the app with your GoPro camera, first make sure your Wi-Fi backpack and GoPro camera have the latest software updates. Next, make sure you have the GoPro app installed on your smartphone or tablet. The iOS version of the GoPro app is available at the iTunes App Store and the Android version is available on Google Play. Once your products are updated and the GoPro app is loaded on your smartphone or tablet, it is now time to connect your GoPro app to your GoPro camera and Wi-Fi backpack. The first step is to pair your smartphone or tablet with the Wi-Fi backpack. Not all smart devices are the same, but the following steps should help walk you through this process. Power on your GoPro camera and Wi-Fi backpack. Make sure your Wi-Fi backpack is discoverable to the GoPro app. Press the button on the Wi-Fi backpack to shortcut to the Wi-Fi menu, then put the Wi-Fi backpack into phone and tablet mode. Now connect the GoPro app to the Wi-Fi backpack. To do this, you'll need to enter the Smart Devices Wi-Fi Settings menu. Find the Wi-Fi backpack's network name in the list of available networks. To make it easier to identify your Wi-Fi backpack's name, GoPro recommends you rename it while configuring the Wi-Fi backpack with GoPro Cineform Studio. The first time you connect to the Wi-Fi backpack's network, you'll need to enter its password. If you didn't configure your Wi-Fi backpack with a password in GoPro Cineform Studio, the default password is GoPro Hero, all lowercase, one word. Your smart device will now connect with the Wi-Fi Backpacks network. You can now launch the GoPro app. The first screen you'll see will give you the option to connect to and control your camera. Or, if you're connected to the internet, you can view GoPro video and photo of the day. Now let's connect and control your camera. By default, Preview automatically turns on when you enter Connect and Control. Once inside, on the List View screen, you'll see the camera's name, the Preview screen, the Expanded Preview button, the Power button, the Shutter button, the Camera Controls button, the File Counter, the Wi-Fi Signal Meter, and the Camera's Battery Meter. Tap the Camera Controls button to access the camera's controls as well as the camera's modes. From this screen, you can change your camera's modes. Notice that if any mode is changed on the camera, it is reflected on the GoPro app as well. You can also turn the live video preview on or off. If you're using multiple cameras, you can locate the camera if you need to remember which camera you are connected to. Or enter the settings menu. From the settings menu, you can adjust any and all of the camera settings such as the video resolution, the photo resolution, the time-lapse interval, and the camera's orientation. When filming video, the record timer shows the duration of the file. And once the recording is stopped, the file counter under the recording icon displays how many videos you have taken, just as it does on the camera. The GoPro app gives you instant access to your camera and controls, making it easier for you to capture your most memorable experiences. For more information and to learn more about other GoPro products, visit GoPro.com. Make sure to check the App Store for future updates of the GoPro app to stay current with new releases.